Since 1937, Japan and China have been engaged in the protracted conflict of the Second Sino-Japanese War. America, along with other Western nations including Britain and Australia, embargo the sale of oil, steel and iron ore to Japan in an attempt to stem further expansionism. Japan plans occupation of the Dutch East Indies and Malaya as alternative sources of natural resources and on December 7th 1941 launches a multi-pronged offensive throughout the Pacific. The goal is to quickly secure Japanese interests, set up a defensive perimeter and then negotiate peace with America from a position of strength. Battle of the Coral Sea 4th to the 8th of May 1942. In order to expand the southern perimeter of the empire, Japan undertakes Operation Mo. The invasion of Port Moresby in New Guinea as well as Tulagi in the Solomon Islands. The ensuing naval battle, the first carried out by carrier aircraft only, ultimately turns back the Port Moresby invasion. A light carrier a destroyer and several smaller vessels are lost by the Japanese. Allied forces suffer significant losses with the sinking of the fleet carrier Lexington, a destroyer and an oiler. Yorktown, the other US fleet carrier participating, is damaged and hastily returns to Hawaii. The Battle of Midway, 4th to the 7th of June 1942. Japan turns its attention to the US based at Midway in a plan to lure the Americans into a decisive naval battle. The massive strike force contains four fleet carriers along with numerous battleships and cruisers, enough to overpower any opposition. Yet Allied codebreakers have discovered the plan, sending three fleet carriers to lie in wait for the approaching enemy. In a stunning victory for the Allies, all four Japanese fleet carriers, Akagi, Kaga, Soyu and Hiru are sunk along with the heavy cruiser Mikuma for the loss of the fleet carrier Yorktown and the destroyer Hammond. Operation Watchtower, 7th of August 1942. The Battle of Midway last month has significantly weakened Japanese carrier strength in the Pacific and allowed the Allies to go on the offensive. One initial goal is to secure the southern Solomon Islands in a plan codenamed Operation Watchtower. Priority for the operation intensifies as Japanese troops begin construction of an airfield on the island of Guadalcanal. Such an airfield would allow long-range bombers to attack the supply lines between America and Australia, as well as provide air cover for Japanese naval forces pushing further south. Japanese supply ships carrying construction materials for the airfield continue to arrive while the Allies make preparations to seize Guadalcanal. Using New Hebrides as a forward base, your orders are to take back Guadalcanal, build a major airfield there and clear the neighbouring islands of any hostile forces. You must build a rank 5 airfield in Guadalcanal, take control of Guadalcanal and the Florida Islands, uh, maintain control of Port Moresby, Midland Bay, Reynolds Island, Santa Cruz Islands and Medita. So here we are then, starting a new campaign. Now I will I will just say straight off the bat, I am still learning this game. I played it when it first came out, you know, quite enjoyed it, but um, I was kind of caught up in other things at the time. So we're coming back to revisit War on the Sea and uh, I've got a lot to learn. I've done, I've done some of the tutorials which went, I did them twice. Uh, sometimes they went well, sometimes they were hopeless. So I'm not sure if that's me, probably is, or the, um, the AI, I just need to understand the mechanics a little bit more. Uh, I can see we're here on the 7th of August 1942. It's 12 o'clock and we have 200 command points. So we've got an air, uh, a, sorry, base here which has got a port and uh, a five-star air base as well, which is pretty good. We've also got um, Cooktown on Australian eastern coast there. We have Port Moresby here, which is... Oh, hang on, let me try that again. Yeah, that's, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, Port Moresby. So we've got the Russell Islands, Santa Isabel, New Georgia, uh, Columba Bagra, don't know, and Vela de uh, La Vela. So where is... Ah, there's Guadalcanal. I knew it was here somewhere. Um, so I think maybe 
from New Hebrides, if we can come and secure Santa Cruz Island to begin with, maybe set up a, an airfield there, we can set up some, some air patrols over Guadalcanal, kind of keep the air, for, air uh, defenses down, and then maybe we we'll try and take Rennell Island and build up a force which we can continue to attack uh, Guadalcanal. So let's let's do that. Let's start from New Hebrides. Let's start some a uh, little C task group. Now, um, we've only 200 command points. We can't go big to begin with. So let's have a look. We've got the Tambor class submarine here. Um, what's the cost of this? Does it tell me? Oh, it cost 10. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we could, we could have 20 submarines, but that wouldn't get us terribly far. But what I will do, uh, the Gato class, what's the difference between the Gato, Gato and the Tambor? Not a lot, to be honest with you. The, um, the Tambor can't dive as deep. It's pretty much what it is. So we'll get some Gato. Let's get the, uh, what should we get? Should we get the Greenling? Yeah, we'll have one of those, and let's get the um, grouper as well. We're going to send this. Um, let's send them as a. Where should we send them? Should we send them? There with me. There we go. Uh, let's set them on a course. Let's send. Let's actually let's send them up here. Um. To the Solomon Sea, because they're going to be flooding resources down to there. So, where will they? Where would you reckon they'll send their re resources from? Down this way or through the Solomon Sea? Let's send them into the Solomon Sea. Come this side, and then I want you to patrol around there. Yeah, perfect. You patrol that. Excellent. So we've got a submarine patrol doing this with two submarines, which should allow us to get uh, hopefully a jump on any um, mainly merchant shipping, resupplying um, Guadalcanal. Now, what we also need to do is get a new force, and I want to get um, destroyers are only six, so that's quite cheap, isn't it? And we got the Simmering class oil tanker. Right, okay. Oh, we can get um, the Commonwealth ships as well, which is quite nice. County class heavy cruiser. No, we don't need those. Uh, we want uh, an oil tanker. Yes, we want an oil tanker. And I probably want... How many of these? Four? And they'll need an escort. Now, uh, we'll probably want to send some destroyer as an escort. And making sure that they've got anti-submarine capability. Anti-aircraft is okay. Sensors, here we go. Um, noise level. Acoustic detec uh, detection is 110%. Passive sonar is 14 nautical miles. Active sonar is 1 nautical mile. Um, make sure they've got depth charges as well. Anti-submarine, 60 depth charges. Perfect. Um, so the Farragut destroyer should do the job let's get Dewey and let's get uh, Dale there we go two destroyers let's put one um, front and back I think brilliant so that is going to be our force now let's get these loaded up um, we'll get supplies on here let's get 2,000 supplies on that ship. This one, or oh, actually, can I just do it like that? There we go. We'll get 100 engineering. This one will get some more supply. Oh, should we put some troops? No, get some more supplies. Next one. What have we got on that one? There we go. We'll get some more supplies on that one. There we go. And that one, we'll get the, the fuel. And then on the destroyer, we'll get some troops. And on the other destroyer, we'll get some more troops as well. So we're going to send 500 troops, 4,000 supplies, uh, 100 engineering and 100 fuel on this. And we're going to send them up to um, this point here. 
Good. So they're going up to Santa Cruz Islands. Now, uh, while they do that, let's get some air defences out. What do we have here? We have eight Wildcats, eight Avengers, and we've got some B-17Fs. Oh, nice. Okay. So I reckon we use these bombers as some long-range reconnaissance. Um, take some 500 pound bombs just in case they spot a sub or anything. We can always do some damage then, can't we? Or should we just go for the show bus? Oh. Okay, we'll go for the, um, the crowd pleasers. <laughs> Everyone likes a crowd, crowd pleaser. Uh, should we send them on the... Yeah, let's send them on their own. Oh, this could be dangerous, but... Let's send them... Up here. Uh, and fly around... Where I want them to fly around. And then just do a sort of a weird search pattern. Can I just do a kind of... Sort that out. Yeah, there we go. A grid search pattern. So they'll, they'll go and do some reconnaissance there. Good. Uh, let's speed up time a little bit. Let's get these aircraft moving. There we go. You heavy G's ready to launch aircraft. Good. We got one B-17 going, and we got the U-boats and the task group going. Let's get another B-17 up. This time, I think we'll send it over here. I don't know what the their range is. 722 nautical miles. Does it tell me? There we go. So they can. Let's do it. Let's do a pass over. Oh, hang on, no. So really, realistically, it's a new me. Three hundred miles, isn't it? Three hundred and fifty miles. So they've got to come back. Um, so I want you to just do a look up there, maybe to there, and do a little search pattern there, and then come back. Yeah, just to see if we can see anything coming towards towards us. Meanwhile, we've got some air, airfields over here, don't we? What do we have in this field? We've got wildcats. Okay. Let's get two wildcats. Um, 211 nautical miles. Not not very far. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get them just flying a little patrol over there. You guys go. Just to keep the... Uh, we get another one. And I'll get them coming down to the south if I can. Just doing little air patrols around the base to make sure, well, basically a little cap to make sure nothing else is going on. What do we have over here in Port Moresby? We have Avengers. What's there? They've put, they've got longer endurance. So if we send one of these out, can we get up here and do some patrols over there and then come back? Okay, we'll send one over there. Let time go a bit so we can actually select the port again. I can't launch aircraft for another 0.1 hour. Okay, we'll let that go and we'll have a look at this Australian port down here. Uh, we've got some B-17s again. Nice! Right, so we'll use B-17s to... Um, cover the coral sea I think nice it's got to be an easy way of doing this again okay we'll let them go Port Moresby is ready to launch all aircraft nice let's launch another B-17 then this time heading over over here do that nice Port Moresby let's launch another Avenger yeah take a bomb out with you and you fly over oh I suppose you could you could fly over this side as well nice right so we've got B-17s doing this bit maybe we need to get another B-17 out to this part of the Coral Sea and we've got some aircraft doing caps around our... Actually, we don't have anyone coming over. They wouldn't attack. They wouldn't be so cheeky as to attack our base here, would they? Probably. Um, let's just... 
time I click that course, it's always random if, I, if it does it right. We'll send them around there and then patrol over that uh, well, that port there. Good. Right. So we're away. Aircraft going out. Uh, I feel we probably need to get like an anti-submarine patrol going. So let's have a look. 60 depth charges. So let's get some cheap ones. Let's get some um, Porter class. These have got 60 depth charges. Got some anti-aircraft and they've got 110%. Okay, so let's get the Porter. Um, the Gridley. And Sommers. There we go. Oh, we've gone to Summers class now. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we've got three destroyers here. Let's send these. Let's send these up here. Um, yeah, let's send these ahead of our group. And then we'll bring them over here. I want you to sort of do a little patrol here. And then we might head on to see if any, any you, you, submarines are coming through that gap there. But mainly they're trying to um, get ahead of the task group, which they should do, all being well. Yeah, they're faster, much faster. We've got the um, the aircraft flying over, of course. Lots of patrols going. Um, so we've got the U-boats going that way, and I'll get these guys to come up this way, into the, sort of this region. Get them to sort of patrol around here for any supplies coming in. So you gone patrol up there, nice. Good. Land ho! Okay, our task group has made it up to where we're going to deploy the uh, the new base which is quite exciting right so here we are with the lead destroyer and we've got our um, C3 freighters and our Simmering class tanker and another destroyer at the back but we made it which is the good thing okay here we are so here's that group next to uh, Santa Cruz Islands obviously nothing there at the moment but if we uh, unload all cargo oh there we go it's turned blue finally the troops have finally been offloaded oh sorry I just didn't know where the troops went for five minutes right so we can set up um, so supplies, 500, good, yeah, engineering, fuel, so we could set up, what, a level 1 of each? So we get a level 1 port set up, and level 1 airfield set up, nice, good, that's that done, uh, and we can then send air supplies, we've got four wildcats here, which we can send on patrols around the island, but we've also got the B-17s already um, patrolling around this island, here they are, setting out once again. So this task group, we can head back to uh, New Hebrides to go and resupply. Um, and then I think we might bring some more supplies up here, or we may head over to Reynolds Island. We've got the anti-sub uh, patrol going on here, and we've got the uh, two task groups of U-boats. Uh, um, well, this one's going to come from here in the Solomon Isles. This one's going to come north of the islands. And we've got this task group going to patrol this kind of uh, triangle here I think um, yeah I may I may change their course a little bit let's we we'll incorporate the island because that's the next one we're going for but if we can um, sort of patrol sort of this zone and I want you to come sort of down here as well to cover this off yeah something like that perfect okay and uh, over here the Avenger from Port Moresby has spotted um, three ships moving very fast. They don't have a bomb on them, unfortunately. Uh, what we could potentially do, could we send another airstrike? Um, so we get two Avengers. One torpedo, or should we go for... They're going to be going quick, so I reckon probably about bombs. Um... So let's grab those two, set course, obviously these guys will probably be long gone, but we'll set them up there anyway, and see if that works, and meanwhile, um, 
there's nothing really payload one torpedo okay no let's go in then sorry I I thought um, she didn't have anything let's have a let's see what these ships are and uh, have a run at one of them at least okay here she is then let's bring up the what can we see they're over there I don't see them but um let's come around weather's broken visibility 32% sea state 7 okay it's quite choppy don't see oh look there they are there they are there they are I'm blind as a bat there they are they like destroyers don't they descending down Ready to make our torpedo attack. Looks like destroyers, Corvette. But we're going to go for this destroyer. Wait for the hail of anti aircraft fire to come towards us. There we go. Torpedo away! Can you see the torpedo wake? I can't. Oh, it, uh, yes, it can. It could be, could be there. We're going to snag the end. Oh, it's, it went under it. I think the torpedo. The torpedo's here now. I think the torpedo went under the ship. It ran too deep. Oh, well. That was a good attack, boys. That was a good attack. Unlucky. Unlucky. Right. Return to base. I think that that's looking a little bit smoky, isn't it? I think they may have taken a little bit of damage. Hopefully you get them back to base for repairs. Okay, we've got that other group of Avengers heading up to where they are now. This is the, the ones that made the attack run. They are heading home. Um, so these guys just sort of um, head up here then sort of head down the coast see if you can spot them let's get uh, some more troops onto the destroyers uh, we'll get some more supplies onto the sea free freighters this replenishes every week which is good I uh, get some engineering onto that sea free freighter and some fuel onto that one and some more troops onto the destroyer Nice. Now we've got an option. We can send this on to uh, Reynold Island to try and capture that. Uh, which will give us more command points, won't it? Uh, so I think what we'll do that, we'll, we'll go for... Um, we'll, send, we'll send this up here. We've got the uh, destroyers here doing that patrol, which is good. We've got the U-boats finally going up there. Uh, we've got 85... Um, command points still in the the bank, which we can spend later, which is good. Encounter with an Avenger. Ah, oh, hello. What's this? Wrong one. Looks like we potentially got some zeros or something. Right, let's have a look. Right, here they are. Two of them flying in formation over. Looks like a volcano. Volcanic. Volcano, even said. So. Um, so watch behind to see if there are indeed any. Japanese fighters. I suspect they're fighters. Oh, there's six! There might be more. Tail guns are blazing. Wait for the break. Break. Break formation. One down. Do you know what? Die for the... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> they were never going to... They didn't really break formation in turn, did they? I thought they were going to break and um, do the uh, needful, but no, we've just lost our two Avengers. Bail out, boys. Uh, 
And we have an encounter. Our U-boats have found... Oh, a convoy of 10 ships moving slow between 8 and 12 knots. Maybe two heavy cruisers and six um, merchant ships. Ooh. Okay, there's, there, ooh, there's the convoy. Right, periscope up. Let's have a look. Right, well, there they are. Yeah, we got a heavy crew. We've got destroyer there. Right, green link. Let's move you to about there. And group up. Move you to about there as well. Let's get 90 degrees on with them. Oh, look, we've got another. Yes, there's two heavy cruisers by the looks of it. Can we target that one? Fourth in the row. Um, let's have a look at this. Um, so we reckon it's a heavy cruiser. Now, I do not know my Japanese ships whatsoever. All my Americans, to be honest with you. Um, could that be uh, one of those? Furutaka? Furutaka? No, it's already identified it as a uh, Mogami. Okay then, so let's have a look. What have we got? Torpedoes. We're going to have a spread of six. Maybe we should target this one here. No, we'll target this one. Solution's not building up. Uh, we'll do a spread of about... We do a spread of about 10. That will be obviously the maximum spread, which will cause havoc. But if we go at 7... Oh, solution. Target number 5. That one. There we go. If we actually target the right ship, that might be better. Right, so we're going to get those targeting that. As soon as that is ready, we go. Now, Grouper, you're going to target... Oh, you target that one. Yeah, 72%. Again, um, six. We'll go for a widespread. This one, 93%. 99% fire. Torpedoes away. Now, I want you to, um, yeah, basically dive. Moving over to Green Link, as a grouper has fired her torpedoes. How is our solution building? 99%. Good. We're going to try and concentrate those down, so we'll go for a 3% spread. Fire. And once again, we'll dive as far. Bring the scope down as well, and we'll do that on grouper just before we damage it. Okay, so we've got the grouper's torpedoes coming in, in here, and we've got the greenlings coming in here. Much tighter lock. We obviously. This ship is now in full on evasive pattern. Look at the steering angle they're getting in on that. Now, they may look like they are going to dodge our torpedoes. Our torpedoes are slow. And the torpedoes that we have in this, or they mark... I can't remember what they are now. Mark 14s? Notoriously poor. They're slow as well. So we've missed this. Was missed, But these ones are going to... Because these are a spread of 10. These could cause some havoc. Well, that destroyer is going to be okay. Those torpedoes are whizzing by. <laughs> they're doing full-on movements, and they might actually come back into the torpedoes if they're not paying too much attention. They are. Ooh, but they, they might have the... See, the ships are just faster than our torpedoes. What's the other cruiser doing? She's okay. I think she's just going to get away with it. Oh, she is. She's just going to get away with it.
depth charges going down. Oh man, that was unlucky. Oh, Greenland's taking some damage. Oh, she's got flooding. She's got... Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Greening's been depth charged. Oh. Our first loss. Grouper, how you doing? 230 feet. We can go deep in that, can't we? Oh, what's... I think these can go down to... 300 feet, can they? Um, there's no layer, so we can't hide behind that. Mm, we could be in trouble here. We are in trouble here. Ship coming in. Um, oh, we go maximum speed. Harder port. <laughs> oh no. She's not looking good. If we see splashes, we're in trouble. Actually coming shallower. Come shallow. Hopefully those depth charges will go straight past us and they'll de they'll death they've been set to detonate a deeper a deeper depth. Okay. Hold here. Go quiet. Run silent. Pairs and reloading halted. There's a shadow over there, which is probably the hull. We might as well go. They're actively pinging us. See, so they've gone basically stopped there listening for us. So let's head over this way. Oh, hello. That ship's just popped up behind us. Coming out of our baffles. And if we can go behind her, then we can hide in her baffles. And if we go behind her, of course, the ship can't run over us because we're going to be behind this one. Although we don't want to go too close behind this one for obvious reasons. Alright, there we go. Rudder right amidships. Oh, oh, they're going to collide! Oh, they've collided! Well, our plan kind of worked. They got us. Damage control. Oh, we got a bit of damage on the nose. Actually, harder. They must have taken some damage from that. You don't clash two ships and... Well, they seem okay. Depth charge in the water.
Here they come. Oh, that's close. Whew. We're still alive. How are we doing? Integrity zero. That's not good. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem. We can't stop our our descent. Um, I may have to emergency blow. Can we come up to periscope depth? We're still diving down. So depth depth is 300 feet. Okay, we're down to almost 500. We got to try and save these guys. I'm gonna blow the emergency ballast. That's worked. Right. The ship's just gone over us, actually. Right. So if we go hard to starboard, maybe in our death rows we can get a rearward shot away. How many torpedoes do we have in the rear? Four. We'll get a four, we'll get it for a max spread. Maybe not quite a max spread. If we can target this ship here. Target group, uh, ship one. We may die, but we may go down fighting. Oh, we've got number two coming that way. Uh. Oh, no, look. There's one coming straight across our nose. Uh-oh. <laughs> can we... Can we... Um, hold here? Nope, we're going up. We can't stop. Oh, my God. We'll ram them. Oh, they're going shallow. They're going very shallow. Oh, crikey. We're gone. Oh, there we go. Hopefully the boys were able to survive at least. You know. We came to the service to give the boys a chance to surrender, although maybe surrendering to the Japanese Navy is not what you'd consider a great surrender. They may not live to tell the tale. But yes, both our U-boats have sadly been destroyed for no real benefit. We were unable to um, get our shots away. I think the lesson that we should have learned from this is next time we target the cargo ships. We would have definitely got them. And we could get two or three cargo ships and stop this resupply for wherever this task group is going. Lessons learned. Costly lessons at that. Confirmation. We lost the Greeling and the Grouper. However, um, moderate damage. This must have been the collision. So we don't think any of our torpedoes hit. Yeah. 4,820 tons lost for our U-boats. Right, we need to get two more submarines out there patrolling that region. In fact, that was quite a big task group. So let's get let's get a um, Northampton. Let's get Portland. Oh, hang on, let's go back to submarines, please. Um, oh, let's get some. Should we get Tam? Yeah, okay. Let's get the um, Tambor. I was changing class rather than uh, names, wasn't I? Uh, these can't go down as deep, though. So, Tautog. Right. 30 points. We're down to 55 command points now. Let's get them back out here. Um, I'm patrolling around the Solomon Sea. That's where it all seems to be happening. Okay, we've got some enemy ships near Santa Cruz. Um, six ships. Very fast. 22 knots. One battle cruiser, one heavy cruiser. What, what have we got here? We've got 
Wildcats, brilliant. They've got no bombs, have they? But, 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 what's this? A B-17 with some bombs. Let's get you heading to that location. And let's see if we can get another flight of B-17s. Three, three B-17s. Um, yeah, head up there. Meanwhile, um, I suppose we could strafe them, but there's no real point. What's that going to do? Not a lot. Okay, here's our B-17, and there are the ships over there. Oh, and already they're firing, so let's not waste any time. We've got some wildcats in the area as well. Um... Preparing to attack the lead, the midship in the middle. Got the two crowd pleasers in there, and we've got another flight of B-17s on route as well. The aircraft fire does look pretty nasty. Bombs away. Oh, we missed. And my B seventeen looks like she's going down. No. Damn it. And to help out. So if we're going to get... How much is a battleship? Heavy cruisers are 26. We'd get two heavy cruisers and that would be it. Battleships cost 80. Well, well, they're out of the question. And carriers are... Wow, carriers are expensive. Um, so we can get a Portland-class heavy cruiser for 22. Northampton-class cruiser for 22. And Pensacola for 22. Cleveland light cruiser for 20, okay. We might as well go for heavy cruisers then. What are the armaments on these? Um, eight, 14, Mark 14 torpedoes. 8 inch, 10, 10 8 inch guns, okay. What's the Northampton? 9 8 inch guns. Heavy cruisers, to be honest with you. I'm sure those who know the American Pacific Fleet better than I do will tell, oh no, there's huge differences in them. Um, but if we get the, say, the Northampton, and we'll stick her with a um, Portland class, it's 44, and we get a destroyer, and we'll get a Sims class as well, 52, right, done. That is, <laughs> that is everything we've got, really. Uh, and we're going to send this group up here to uh, challenge them. Meanwhile, we've got those B-17s heading on. What are these? The Wildcats? Then my B-17s coming there. Right, here we are. My flight of three B-17s. And the... Apparently, there, there they are. There they are. They've gone past the island. Now, we'll get lead flight to target that one. Number two, target. You target that one as well. And number three, target number four. <laughs> that makes sense. Attack. 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 Bombay doors opening. Starting our attack runs.
Okay. A good bomb run. Unfortunately, again, we didn't quite get them. Um, we might have to get m multiple smaller bombs rather than the big um, crowd pleasers to s see if we can uh, get some more action. I think uh, number three flight over there did actually strike that um, smaller destroyer. So we could have got some damage then, but the capital ship bombs bracketed either side of her once more. Wow, that was a close shot. Smoke coming off these two B-17s. They just need to make it back now. Limp home, get some repairs, and see what we can do. Maybe our um, maybe what we need to do with our two cruisers and destroyer, get the three destroyers from our anti-submarine patrol and merge them to uh, take on. There is definitely a smoking ship back there. So confirmation, one aircraft lost. Um, although there was smoke, it doesn't seem to be registered any damage, or oh, minor damage, there we go. Minor damage on the destroyer, so yeah, okay. And as we join our heavy cruisers, patrolling for the Japanese Navy, we'll kind of end it there this week. So we've got a lot to learn, we've got a lot to learn as you can probably tell. We've got the Northampton in front of us, um, and our destroyer behind. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of War on the Sea. Steep learning curve for sure, but we will we will learn these lessons well and we will make sure that we implement a better strategy next time. As I say, thoughts and comments of your strategies as well in the comment section below will certainly help me and, my, uh, and reduce my learning curve, which I'll be internally grateful for, and it will stop some of the frustration I'm sure you've felt. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.